Compared to a gasoline two-stroke engine, the diesel one does not consume its own lubrication oil, as the crankshaft case is isolated from the combustion chamber. Although they are considered naturally aspirated, they need a crankshaft driven blower to get air inside through pores and scavenge the exhaust out via valves, mostly. Obviously it differs from the petrol one quite a bit, and it is the most efficient piston engine with thermal efficiency easily exceeding 50%. Foden FD6 Manufactured by Edwin Foden Sons & Company, this engine came from England and was mainly used for short-haul vehicles since it had a tendency to overheat on longer uphill roads. They did install it also in motorcoaches and buses and once even appeared in a double-decker called PVD. Both the NA and Tuba versions were sold. Comma TS3 Unofficially named as the common knocker, this two-stroke has a rather unusual layout which in its base core is shared with many other two-cycle diesels. As a opposed piston engine, there are two pistons in each cylinder with three cylinders in total. Therefore the unit had absolutely no valves, only intake and exhaust ports with a blower on the intake side. It was built for Comma by Roots Group. Naper Deltic The Deltic has a very extraordinary engine layout. It also has two pistons per cylinder, but it has three banks set in a triangle. As there are 18 cylinders of 36 pistons, the Naper Deltic has actually six triangles merged together with three crankshafts in each corner. Before they got introduced in the railway industry, the Royal Navy used them with a peak power of 2500 horsepower. Leyland L60 As the FV4201 Chieftain tank had been developed, constructors needed a suitable engine. NATO required a multi-fuel power plant, therefore a new one was made out by Leyland with 12 opposed pistons. Although it was relatively powerful, still it wasn't as strong as expected. Besides, it had a 90% breakdown rate, with cylinder liners, fan drive and badly designed pipework. Detroit Diesel Unless you were born like yesterday, you must have heard about the Detroit Diesel. It is the most popular two-stroke diesel engine ever with multiple various series divided by a cylinder volume in cubic inches such as 53, 71, 92 and 149. They were produced in many different layers from a single up to 24 cylinder with a blower only or in combination with turbochargers.
Junkers Humo 204. Being an aircraft diesel, this one was one of those lucky engines to be used somewhat widely, as a petrol layout is naturally a better option for this application. However, this was also a two-stroke opposed piston series with minor differences between the engines, such as bore, stroke and supercharger arrangement. EMD EMD states for Electromotive Diesel and just like Detroit Diesel, once it was also owned by GM, currently they are under Daimler and the 567, 645 and 710 engine series have been amongst their two strokes. Those smallest only have six cylinders, but the largest ones have a rare V20 configuration. Redline is between 900 to 950 rpm with ability to produce thousands of horsepower. Wadzilla Artiflex 96C. This bad boy is really huge. It is famous for being the largest piston engine in the world with 6 up to 14 cylinders. Although it is a turbocharged low speed unit, it is so big that it needs 160 grams of fuel per cylinder per cycle, which equals to 243 kilograms of fuel for all 14 cylinders per minute. An interesting thing is that it doesn't use a camshaft to open and close the exhaust valves, but rather does this electronically. Fairbanks Moors 3888 number figures in the engine's name represent an 8 and an 8 inch wide ball and 38 inches long stroke as this is an opposed piston unit. It was a modular series with a number of 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10 and 12 cylinders. They were installed mainly in these electric powered submarines, icebreakers, locomotives but also stationary power generation. A turbocharged variant was produced as well with a final output of 3600 horsepower. As an interesting fact, it is worth a note that it needed 725 liters of engine oil. 